Greetings. I present to you a beautiful late model Singer 20U53. The specs for the 53 means that it can do zigzag to 9 millimeters wide and it will do a maximum stitch length of 5 millimeters. This is an industrial grade zigzag bottom feed machine. The machine's history came out of, is that it came out of Syracuse University, was purchased by a small one person boutique shop, and then that person has upgraded to a different style machine, and I've, now it's in my possession. I've gone through and done a full service on this, done a cleaning, lube, all lube has been done with triflow oil and triflow grease. Timing has been verified. Timing is set fine. We This is a manually oiled machine. The controls over here are we have our needle position left, right, and center. This is a reverse of which we have an adjustable stop on the reverse. Our stitch length control. This is our zigzag width and these are stops for the zigzag for a maximum width and a minimum width. And if you go out and search YouTube you can see where that is used for doing buttonholes. So you can set a minimum distance there, set a maximum distance there, and narrow that width down. So in one position you're doing the wide portions at the top and bottom of a buttonhole, and in the narrow position you are doing the sides of the buttonhole. And then you can release this and go back to straight stitch. Again, straight stitch left, center, right. I'm currently using 92 thread and an 18 needle. Yes, you can go down 16, etc. Go down to 69. This is just what I happen to have with me. I've loaded black in the top and beige in the bottom. So you can kind of get an idea as far as the stitch quality uh, tension, etc. If you're looking at this machine, you know that as you change threads and as you change materials, you're going to be wanting to monitor and adjust your tension. Our lighting is going to change here in just a second. And we're going to do some straight stitching real quick. The clutch motor is clean. The facing on the cork is very clean. Looks like it's had very little use. This entire machine has had very little use. Now let's fire this up and we'll do some stitching. And I will start this all the way out at the five millimeter length. It will run. And if you are really good with it, you can get it to slow down. There's the five millimeter stitch length, and you can see how we've got our tension set so things are evenly balanced between top and bottom. And there's our four, well, actually, just kind of change this as we go three, 
two, one, and we can get even smaller and smaller, but with the heavy thread it doesn't make much sense. But once you can, you can see the balance, balance on the stitching using the contrasting threads. We'll go into zigzag mode for now. Just a real quick demo on this. Yeah, I'm just going to set the maximum zigzag, lock down our controls, bring this out to five millimeters for now, and then we will decrease the stitch length from there. And there you can see our decreasing stitch length with balanced thread tension. And what we'll also do, just so you get to see it, I'm going to do a little bit of vinyl work. And I'm going to start with two layers. I'm going to start with four layers and come down to two so you can see the black thread here with white beige there. And again, we're just going to stick with the uh, zigzag. I'm going to set it at three for now, just to give us a rough idea. Again, this is four layers of marine grade vinyl. got nine millimeters wide stitch length set at three millimeters and there's your balance of tension front and back and I hope you enjoyed this it is a beautiful machine nice and solid it's got some rattles in here the tables in very good condition I haven't zoomed out on it the tables in extremely good condition it's got a new thread spool stand Motor is quiet. I just got to tighten down a couple of bolts. Have yourself a wonderful day. This is Stephen with Smooth Creations.